also drivers of migration which are not, all of them are so positive. For simplicity's sake, I've put them together in the eight Ds. So the eight Ds are, and I'm, I'm sure there are many more, but the eight Ds of drivers of migration are demography. There is an aging north and a very youthful south in the world. I think the, the average Ghanaian must be around 20 years old. The average European is more than double the age. So you can see that the youthfulness in the global north is, uh, is lacking. And so there is also a need for obviously workforce, for help also and assistance of the many elderly people we have in, in our region of the world. Second D, demands. It's actually linked to it. So there is actual, actually a demand in the global north for, uh, for migration, for people to come, for labor force. There is a disparity, unfortunately. There is a big disparity between rich parts of the world and less rich parts of the world. There is a distance, and if I say distance, I actually mean a shrinking distance. The world, more and more, is becoming a global village where it is much easier to travel around and means of transportation are also becoming less costly. Maybe not this year, which is, was a special year, but in general, that's the tendency. Fifth D would be the digital revolution. People know about the world in every, even in the remotest corner of, of uh, the rural parts of, of the world, they still know about other parts of the world because of the digital revolution that brings all the information close to them. Unfortunately, not, all, not only true information, but also false information. Um, despair, that is probably the most unfortunate of my eight Ds. A lot of people, unfortunately, also travel out of despair. They don't see any other way out, so they travel. Something we don't like to see. Disasters, and I will come to this point at a later stage. Natural disasters, of course, but also man-made disasters. And the last one, which is actually a positive one, but I also want to mention it, is development. Because contrary to popul popular belief, it's not the poorest of the poor who migrate. It takes some resources also to travel, right? So it is actually, if at a certain stage of a de development of a country, uh, migration might increase. So for the IOM, it is very important that migration is not seen as a problem to be solved, but as a reality to deal with and to manage. Because migration, as our former director general used to like to say, is inevitable. Nobody will ever be able to stop it. But it's also necessary as we have seen, it is necessary for an equal and just development of the world. And it is even desirable if it is managed in an orderly and safe manner. <laughs>